Tonight, tornado weather. Tonight, Ramirez lawsuit. And tonight, ready to wrap. Good evening. Almost a year to the day after Pine Lake, a tornado touches down in central Alberta. It happened in Caroline. Thankfully, this one wasn't nearly as severe. A Channel's Tom Negevin returning from the scene. Tom, what did you see? Well, 65 kilometers from Pine Lake and one day shy of the one-year anniversary of that deadly tornado. No injuries and very little damage on the ground. A Quonset overturned, a couple of other touchdowns, but a big scare for those nearby who saw the twister coming. we seen the cloud coming, and it was, and it went up into the clouds, and then it we heard it kind of disappeared, right? And then it, uh, we heard the noise again, and we knew it was coming back, so we just ran into the building. It hit in a sparsely populated area, skipping right over an RV park. Again, no damage or injuries this time, or we should say very little damage, but a dramatic reminder of the disaster at Pine Lake, not far away, almost one year ago. Paul? Tom Nagevin, reporting from near Caroline tonight. Edmonton got a taste of some of that severe weather as well. A Channel Stacy Carroll standing by live with the details. Stacy? Well, Paul, we were following the story or the storm rather through the north end of the city. At one point, we were forced to pull over. Here's what it looked like. Over the, the city of Edmonton this afternoon, we had some reports of golf ball sized hail and some significant rainfalls. The storm was uh, fairly slow moving, kind of sat over part of the city. Had a number of uh, rotating cloud reports or funnel cloud reports, St. Albert, North Edmonton. Witnesses were forced to run for cover when the storm hit. It was a frightening experience for a construction crews who were outside during the worst of it. Terrible winds. I mean, the wind was incredible. It was blowing. Well, our guys on the roof just about being blown off. The guys, especially again up on the roof, watching the cloud patterns. Hadn't seen that since probably 87. Kind of an ironic thing that it's Friday the 13th and also almost one year to the day since uh, the, uh, the Pine Lake event last year. So far, no reports of damages around the city. Environment Canada says it looks like Edmonton is now out of danger. The storm appears to be moving towards Fort Saskatchewan and Elk Island Park. Severe storm alerts in effect for both those places, at least for the early part of the evening. Paul, back to you. Good, Stacy, and thank you to all of our street shooters who gave us the weather-related video. Each one will receive a $100 A&B Sound gift certificate. They're also eligible for the grand prize, a $3,000 gift certificate, courtesy A&B Sound. Now, the weather situation around the province has been changing dramatically for most of the afternoon. A-Channel's Don Chube has been tracking the storm systems and has the latest for us now. Don? Thanks very much, Paul. Yeah, it was kind of a crazy day. We had a number of thunderstorm warnings. We even saw a couple of tornado warnings, of course, in the Caroline and Red Deer area. Right now, no tornado, tornado warnings to speak of. I still have a few thunderstorm warnings, though. If we take a look at the radar, you can see there's still tons of activity happening right now in the province. Very unstable air. And, of course, that generally though, should weaken as the time moves on and as the storm moves northeast. Right now, the warnings we have are in Elk Island Park. There was one for the County of Camrose. That has now ended. We also have a thunderstorm warning for the County of Paint Earth near Castor and Coronation. Also a brand new one that just came up at the Municipal District of Acadia near Cereal and Oyen. I will keep a um, uh, watch on the weather systems for you and let you know if there's any more warnings a little bit later on in the show. That's it from here. Back to you, Paul. All right. Thank you, Don. And we will take a look back at the Pine Lake tornado and preview tomorrow's memorial at the water's edge. A little later in the show. Severe watch and warning board as uh, as we show you right now. So in terms of severe weather warnings, there is still one in place, a severe thunderstorm warning for Elk Island National Park. There is a severe thunderstorm warning out for the county of Stetler near Bymore. And just added a severe thunderstorm warning for the municipal district of Acadia, and that's near Oyen. So starting to approach the Saskatchewan border. It has just been ended for the county of Camrose. And uh, as we move through the next couple of hours, it is definitely still going to be a severe weather evening. We'll talk about that in a minute. Right now in the west end, it is rather mild. It's 17 degrees. The winds have picked up substantially in the last 15 minutes. The rain has just begun to fall. We have another cell approaching the city from the southwest. So in terms of clear skies, and is the worst of it over? Definitely not. We will be monitoring these, uh, these storms over the next couple of hours. Now, in terms of phone calls to the newsroom, I can't thank people enough. Really enabled us to track the storms as we move through the day. And was it or was it not a funnel cloud? We will definitely talk about that as I uh, look ahead at the weekend forecast and discuss severe weather just a little more, Daryl, in about 20 minutes' time. In from the rain that is now begin to fall here in the West End. All right. Well, come on in. Stay dry. Thanks, Thanks. Ian. Talk to you later.
So a tornado scare in central Alberta today. Certainly a funnel cloud touched down just west of Red Deer. It hit near the community of Caroline. It was not a big twister. It did destroy a farmer's storage shed. It knocked down a section of trees in an RV park across the road. Unfortunately, no one was injured. But you can imagine a nervous time for people it at the It had a park. great big roaring, and we just, when, and the wind started really bad, so we just headed into the building and got behind the counter and sat in behind there and stayed there till it went by. It was scary, and I was very nervous, and I thought it wouldn't really go by. Our thanks, and $100 goes out to Victor Vavrick for his home video of the tornado near the Caroline area. Remember, if you see news happen, grab your video camera, call CFRN News at 489 and EWS. The irony is not lost on us that tomorrow is the first anniversary of the deadly Pine Lake tornado. In that 12 people died, many others were hurt. Our week-long coverage of the anniversary continues a little later this hour with survivors and their outlook on life one year later. In other news tonight, a drive-by shooting